take yourself low. No, we are not going to see it. Alas, Flowers. We get another matchup with the Jacks. And Summit will try his hand. Uh, ultimate and Sejuani with ultimate. Uh, it's very, very uh, difficult to get away from. A lot of value out of the tenacity from that. And meanwhile, 2v2. That 2v2 we were hyping up in Champ Select. If, if, yeah, if it, it's very dangerous for the Kha'Zix to play. Someday, 300 HP, 100 HP, already dead. Summit just smacked. Well, let's see if Team Liquid can get this Drake without any contest. It looks like they will. You can see no rotations coming out from 100 Thieves. Double and Busio just shoving the wave up bottom side. Yosha confirms the Drake for the side. Something's gotta be up. He does not want to commit to that. Wow, back in bottom lane. It's the Nami wave coming out. The Pioshik's ready to reinforce. Double has got to be careful as Yon's also down to about 400 HP. 100 Thieves thought they had the angle there, but once Pioshik shows up, they got to be respectful. Busio's nearly killed, but instead it's Closer swooping in to pick up Yon. Now Pioshik's locked up in the bubble, and 100 Thieves have outfought him. Pioshik still tries to escape as teleports show up for both sides. Team Liquid's going to have their man arrive first. And Nuke Duck and Harry both Damage show onto Yawn and flashes away from Pioshik. Flashes the Sejuani flash. He has that all in his mind. He's putting the counter damage into the AD carry so that Closer can jump in to get the kill. The second Drake of the game, it would be their first. Nuke Duck, Nuke Duck seeing what he might be able to find. Just a quick little burst onto Harry, but nobody from TL is around to contest this. Team Liquid are able to get that Rift Jail. Looking pretty close here. I do like the call from Team Liquid. As soon as they get that cleanse out, Sejuani ult traded for the cleanse. They go for it. They're able to burn it down. And someday, again, pretty low health here on the Cassante. He's got his ult and flash available, though, so he should be okay. He's giving a lot of respect to the dive. Cassante is one of the best champions to try to outplay a dive with, but when you don't have much HP, when it's Jax and Sejuani together, it's just mid lane as well. This charge and just a tiny bit of damage will finish it up, and that's going to be two outer towers for TL. Nicely done. From Harry's going to teleport down. Summit clears the wave away from the tier one turret. Team Liquid a little separated right now. This is something you got to be concerned about. Someday steps forward. Nuke Duck waiting off to the side. Summit wants to try to mark him, make sure LeBlanc can't jump in there. 100 Thieves now the one slightly separated too. Team Liquid, four man grouped up on top of the Drake. They want to engage. Closes at about half. Team Liquid still trying to take this. The Drake is secured as Summit chases away Nuke Duck, but he only kills the clone. Team Liquid managed to fight this one well so far, but now Harry's going in to try to get a little bit more. The cozy campfire keeping everybody healed up as Harry now has to flash back. It's Team Liquid deciding they've gone to. Solo tower gold again for Jax. Juicy. And when you think about it, three turrets worth of gold is a lot of gold. So for 100 Thieves to still have the lead, we look at the farm differences in the jungle roll. Hold on, it's Summit jumping in there together with Bioshik. Closers down to 51 HP. Up with the Cozy Campfire healing them, Team Liquid. They're not messing around. 100 Thieves is coming in. They don't have a jungler. It's not a 50-50 flip. Busio gonna take some damage as Summit goes in to fight everybody here in a 1v4 and guarantee the rest of the team's gonna be able to take the Baron oh, away oh, and Team Liquid. That Dragon Soul. Huge, huge stuff here for Team Liquid coming out against 100 Thieves. Pushing away from the rest of the squad. Summit bouncing back and forth between the lanes. Pioshik leading the charge. Nuke Duck takes a lot of damage there. Tidal Wave fired off by Busio to make sure that TL can't oh. follow it up. Double Lift takes a lot of damage. He's rooted up. The execution comes in and Team Liquid, they're going to get the tier two turret. They're going to take Double Lift with them. And now they're marching towards the base. Oh my goodness. The range on Green Gun of Felios and Milio there. Beautiful stuff. They're inside the base flowers. They're not done here either. Mid lane's going down at the same time as bottom lane. Harry's trying to work in towards that inhibitor turret. Bottom inhibitor is toast. They can rotate up to meet him there. They still have a wave in mid. Someday goes to clear out the wave in bot. The team liquid players trying to push down the tier two. But Yon just gets pulled. Oh Beautifully done from 100 Thieves. And now they're gonna find some more. Summit forced to use the Counter-Strike to stay alive as he tries to disengage in time. Pioshik wants to slow these guys down and buy more time for that escape. Summit is just running and running and running and running and running and running and running. Harry fires off the charm, makes sure that he runs away. Team Liquid, little Ooh. bit of carelessness there, gets punished and Yon goes down. Right before our eyes, big stuff out of 100 Thieves. Double if pops him. 
Gets the revenge on Dion for the previous kill, and that's going to be the tower down. Now Team Liquid, the rest of the squad, is here. Someday we'll try to... 4v4, no Kha'Zix, no AD carry for TL. Keep everybody else safe. Summit wants to engage. He's found Boosie already, and now they're going to pick up a second. It's already over with the bottom laners killed off. There's no way the rest of the thieves can stand and fight. And Actually committing the teleport to guarantee that he escapes. He'll that, uh... make it back to the base. But the Tier 2 turret is down. Team Liquid with Summit, Harry, and Core JJ. They want to force down this Tier 3 turret. Doublets is still left dead for the next 10 seconds. Busio only just now respawning. Team Liquid can't stick around to finish off the inhibitor. Stopwatch into the Zonias as well for the further playmaking. Summit there in the mid lane. There's super minions in the bottom lane. They are pulling the thieves in multiple different directions, trying to force them to make a choice. As Summit has to use the Zonias, he will surely die here. But how long is it going to take? The counter strike back on the double lift. The Baron is secured, but Summit will be traded away. Double lift at one third HP as Harry comes around from the side. Some days tanky, but he ain't tanky enough. Harry drops them with the help of his friends and hundreds. Thieves now got to try to get back. It's a 4v4 on the map, and Team Liquid have their second Baron of the game as Pioshik finishes off double lift, courtesy of Summit's damage earlier, and Busio's looking like a fish out of water. Nice sidestep back from world champ Pioshik as he keeps the Nami locked down and guarantees a 3v2 for the rest of his team in the enemy base. Double is dead for 35, Sunday's <laughs> dead for 25. <laughs> team Liquid's one in the game. Nuke Duck trying to get away with only 100 HP as Closer and Nuke Duck are the only two left standing. 20 seconds on double up, 10 seconds on Sunday. Closer trying to keep himself alive, clear out some of these minions. Nexus turrets are both gone. Team Liquid wants to grab a win. Some days back in about four seconds. 100 Thieves trying to get away. I don't think it happens. Closer jumps in and wants to kill on Harry, but he ain't going to find it. Someday comes back to life, only to go all out. 